Basel YouTube, how's it going everybody? How for you guys today? A pretty good Uber's Wi-Fi battle I had against CDST, ZHD, I, I, I forget the letters, but yeah, I've, I've battled him a couple times before and I got this match off of my Discord, so if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to hammer arm and that like button down below. Now, this is a really cool team that I got off of the forums that was based around Complete Zygarde and Arceus Poison, which is an Arceus type I don't think I've ever really seen much in Uber's. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite Arceus type is to use in Ubers if you play Ubers or just what's your favorite Arceus type in general. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. So going into this battle, uh, Deoxys attack is extremely scary to switch into. Uh, definitely have to watch out for that. Also, Primal uh, Kyogre could honestly be an issue if I lose my Primal Groudon. So have to be very careful of that. And then Lugia could be absurdly annoying if I'm not able to get up rocks and break the multi-scale so he actually ends up bleeding off with his Deoxys attack as I end up bleeding off with my Garatina. Unfortunately this Garatina does not have the Shadow Sneak so I have to take one potential hit then go for the Hex and go from there but he actually ends up switching into his Arceus here which turns out to be Arceus Fairy. Unfortunately for him he misses his Toxic as I land my Toxic. Now in the long run of the battle him missing I don't think is game changing as you guys will come to see but it does matter in the sense that now he has to go for the Toxic once more but this will allow me to get a free switch into my ho -Oh. and I probably would have switched into my ho -Oh regardless uh, of what he did most likely because he doesn't really have a good switch into this ho -Oh because now that I know that this is Arceus Fairy I am Adam and Choice Banded Sacred Fire outside of Kyogre and um, potentially the Primal Groudon will be doing a lot of damage to his whole team and then Brave Bird pretty much smacks his entire team around too. Even though Lucario is part steel, it does not matter because it's still neutral since it is also a fighting type. So I am just going to go ahead, fire off a Brave Bird here. Nothing is safely switching in. His Arceus most likely doesn't have a rock type move anyways. So I really wasn't worried about what he wanted to do this turn. I just thought I was going to claim a KO. But it does turn out that his Deoxys attack has the Focus Sash, which is slightly annoying because now I have to potentially take a Psycho Boost and I have have no switch ins to this monster but he actually ends up going for the stealth rocks which is slightly better for me because now I can at least get rid of this giant terrifying monster and only ensure that I have to deal with uh, the primal Groudon not primal Groudon sorry primal Kyogre depending on what kind of set it is running so down goes the Deoxys unfortunately he did get up rocks as in comes his primal Groudon now because his Deoxys was his stealth rocker I was thinking that this was going to be a potential setup Groudon because that would make sense so I am going to be aggressive here and stay in while it would have been nice to switch out and gain back regenerate your HP and then potentially defog away the rocks later. I thought it was in my best benefit to ensure a huge amount of damage off on this Groudon. As you can see, I do a clean 51%, although I will be knocked out by the Brave Bird recoil and the toxic damage since I have been in a couple turns but getting off this huge hit on the primal Groudon puts me in a pretty decent position because now I can bring in something to uh, potentially revenge kill him which is going to be my Zygarde which is supposed to be Zygarde complete but uh, I'm an idiot and uh, it's aura break and that kind of sucks I'm not gonna lie I really wanted to use Zygarde complete form because I've, I've yet to use Zygarde complete in Ubers and I was like finally I get to use it and then that precipice blade does so much more damage than I was thinking because I'm max defense max HP that did too much damage that did over 50% to me so I am able to glare him here as he then ends up getting fully paralyzed I will be able to hit him up with the thousand arrows now it does suck that this upcoming turn he ends up getting fully paralyzed again but the thing about it is, is that if he broke through Paralysis, he still had to also hit Precipice Blade, which is 85% accuracy. So, yeah, this Parahax does kind of matter because he would have been able to get rid of my Zygarde, but that is Pokemon. I've been there plenty of times and I'm able to knock him out with the second Thousand Arrows, allowing me to save my Zygarde for later in this battle, most likely as Death Fodder because since it is just regular Zygarde, it's not going to be doing much in this game. It's not going to get that absurdly huge defense boost that uh, Zygarde Complete does have. So he does unfortunately get a free switch here into the Kyogre, which is absolutely terrifying 
because I don't really want to switch directly into my Groudon, mainly because if he does go for the Ice Beam here, which realistically is probably his best play to ensure that he KOs my Zygarde, then I don't want to get caught with an Ice Beam and uh, be worn down because he also has rocks up so i'm gonna switch into my arceus here expecting the ice beam as he does not freeze me i am going to then this turn switch into my groudon expecting him to want to go for the scold surf hydro pump or the origin pulse if he did have that so this uh, more or less gives me a safe free switch into my primal groudon because thanks to desolate desolate land i will be able to nullify his water type moves as I will be able to bring in my Primal Groudon here. This is excellent because now I'm in a decent enough position, I think, because this will allow me to hopefully get up my Stealth Rocks. At the same time, I thought about maybe going for the Dragon Tail because his Lugia is honestly a very safe switch in here. And uh, there's really no reason for him to not bring it in unless he was fearing me potentially having a Toxic, which I don't think I've ran Toxic on Primal Groudon recently anyways. So I do get up my Rocks here for free and now I can kind of even the playing field because now he's going to be taking chip damage and I'm going to be taking chip damage. So I'm going to switch back into my Arceus Poison here, expecting him to just want to go for the Toxic because that's a very common move on Lugia. Typically Lugia are Toxic, Whirlwind, Roost and some type of offensive move. Ice Beam is mostly what I've seen myself, but I do have to go for the recover here because if anything, I can probably use this Arceus to kind of wear down his uh, Primal Kyogre and put it in range of where my Marsh Shadow will be able to knock him out. As he makes a hard switch directly into his Lucario, this is a little bit scary because he pretty much just gets a free Sword Zance here if he's not fearing me having Will-O-Wisp, which of course, I don't have Will-O-Wisp on this Arceus, but Earth Power still does a really good chunk of damage to this Lucario, but after him going for the Sword Zens, Iron Tail actually does have a chance to knock me out, I believe, although it was only about 40% if he was Jolly, and then if he was Adamant, he guaranteed knocked me out, but it turns out that he doesn't have the Iron Tail, but he does have High Jump Kick, which still does like 60-65% to my Arceus, which is absurd because I'm max HP and that is resisted. Mega Lucario is insane at plus two, holy crap. So in comes the Lugia. Because my Arceus does not have the Toxic, I thought at this point in the battle that I really didn't have much use for it. So long as I have my Primal Groudon in the back, uh, his Primal Kyogre shouldn't be as big of an issue. And I do kind of wish I had Toxic because Arceus would have been able to 1v1 this Kyogre. I mean, the Lugia, it could have also potentially 1v1 the Kyogre if it was not Rest Talk, and then I already toxic the Arceus uh, Fairy, which Arceus Fairy can't even touch Arceus Poison typically, so I would have been able to 1v1 that, and Arceus essentially would have been able to 1v1 the rest of his team if I just had Toxic, but it does actually have Psych Up, which actually could have helped me out against a potential like Calm Mind Arceus, or Calm Mind Lugia, or Calm Mind uh, Kyogre. Either way though, I just want to try and ensure that this Kyo that this Lugia- why do I keep calling this Kyogre? That this Lugia is not in range of multi-scale as I will be able to get a free switch into my Garatina here. I do just want to go safely for the Toxic because I need to status this Lugia. This Lugia is a humongous, humongous problem as he is going to switch directly into his Arceus Fairy here, most likely expecting me to go for the Toxic. This is nice because now I'm starting to be able to wear him down accordingly and I cannot afford to lose my Garatina because at this point if that Lugia remains at close to over like 60 or 70 ish percent I can't knock him out with my Marsh Shadow so if anything I can try to toxic him maybe wear him down I also do have the hex on the Garatina as you guys saw earlier so that's going to be double the damage I will be able to do to his Lugia as I switch into my Groudon here I honestly thought that he was going to go for the toxic but he ends up going for the judgment which is fine by me because now the tox damage will be racking up even more and if he does want to go for the recover, I am still going to be doing a decent amount of damage to him as I go for the Stone Edge on the off chance that maybe he wanted to switch in to the Lugia and if he did go for the Toxic as you saw here, I would have been able to knock him out with Stone Edge and the Toxic damage at this point. So unfortunately my Groudon is getting a little bit worn down here and he gets a free switch back into this terrifying, terrifying monster that is Primal Kyogre. And at this point, I have to essentially pick something on my team to sack off to this because I don't realistically have a safe switch in to an Origin Pulse in the rain outside of my Groudon, but because Groudon was already in, he got rid of my Desolate Land. So I have to choose a Death Fodder here and I'm going to just sack off my Zygarde, which... 
which I guess skillfully dodges an origin pulse, but it turns out that this miss actually does not matter too much because my Groudon is still faster than his Kyogre, and even though he will knock me out this turn, my Groudon still could have come in and gone for the Precipice Blade to get off damage on this Kyogre and ensure putting it in range of where I would have been able to revenge kill him. He did tell me, I did ask him after the battle if he had speedy bees on Kyogre and he said no. So yeah, and this Groudon, as you guys can find out by the pigs bin in the description, has about 12 or 16 speedy bees. So I would have outsped him anyways, as I will be able to hit him up with the Precipice Blade. Turns out that he's not a physically defensive Kyogre, which is what I was mainly fearing. He is more of an offensive one. And then I think he actually did end up getting fully paralyzed there. Now that did really suck because he might have been able to actually knock me out with Ice Beam and Toxic Damage after this turn. And then I would have still brought in my Garatina against uh, his Lugia. Or no, I would have brought in Garatina as he had Kyogre in and then I would have knocked out Kyogre and then I still would have been able to at least Toxic Lugia. And I don't think Lugia actually has Ice Beam because he showed the Aura Blast. And again, Lugia typically only run one offensive move. So if he did hit the Toxic earlier on my Garatina at the beginning of the match, I don't think he would have done enough damage to me to where he would have been able to knock me out before I was able to hit him with the Toxic and then hit him with the Hex. So yeah, that's why I don't really think the Toxic miss at the beginning of the battle ends up mattering entirely too much. So this Lugia, of course, will be able to beat my Groudon at this point, but because I do have my Garatina in the back, all I have to do is bring it in here and hit Toxic and then try to do as much damage as I can to put him in range of where I can then hopefully finish him off with my Marshadow if he does end up beating my Garatina 1v1. So I do bring in my Garatina here and I will be able to hopefully go for the Toxic as he ends up going for his own Toxic, finally being able to uh, Toxic my Garatina here. But again, I do have Toxic and I do have Hex. The combination of those two moves should be able to do enough damage to this Lugia. And then uh, Marshadow will be able to knock it out. Funny enough, if this is physically defensive Lugia, I think Spectral Thief from even Life or Marshadow only does like 60 to almost 70 ish percent, which is absurd, man. Lugia is so, so bulky, ladies and gentlemen. Lugia is beyond fat. Uh, it could be a little bit more offensive. I have seen Calm Mind Lugia run a couple times before, but typically it is just a good defensive pivot mod, especially with uh, its hidden ability in multi scale. Is it multi scale? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is multi scale. Um, but yeah, I will be able to hit him up with the Hex here, and I think I can actually live this next hit. So, this is where if I went down to the Toxic, I would have brought in Marshadow to finish him off. But because he did miss Toxic earlier, Gary Tina will at least be able to finish off the game here. So I guess the Toxic miss mattered in the sense that it was only a 2-0 instead of a 1-0 but yeah either way still thought this was a good fun game so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video let me know in the comment section below what your favorite arceus type is so with that being said guys i will see you all tomorrow so later everybody because my brain and heart are both tied in the knot and this hinders me from crying good luck this causing me to show no emotion but when i said i cared i wasn't joking but i guess it's too late for me to become broken for now i'm living with no more pain tears of hoping i'm just coasting yeah, I said I'm coasting. No more pain, tears, and hoping. For real.